Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX warehouse updates here at Bastrop, Texas. Well, I'm back out at the SpaceX and also the Boring Company site here in Bastrop, Texas. And it's been a few months since I've been here. The last time I was here was in March and then I was going to do one in April, but I was down at uh, Starbase watching the Starship's first launch. So apologize for missing a month, but here I am back on the 15th of May, 2023. And as you can see, there's continued to be a lot of work behind me on the Starlink site. In fact, both of the tunnels that lead from right behind me underneath uh, Highway 1209 over to the Boring Company are completed pretty much when there's a little bit of concrete work being done on the entrance of one of them. But as you can see by a few of these images from the drone, a lot of work has been done specifically on the side with all of the loading docks or the receiving bays. Concrete has been poured in most of the sections and there's uh, just about uh, maybe 30% of that remaining. You can also see that material staging yard has got a lot more materials, looks like steel materials, so it may be some internal construction that's going on. On the back side of the building, we can see a water tank has been completed with what looks to be like a control room and more of the concrete around the back end of the building and provisions for roads with some of the formwork. As we continue around to the next side, we can see quite a bit of the formwork for the parking lots has been in place and it hasn't had any of the concrete or the asphalt, but it looks like that's uh, coming pretty soon. And then of course, the main entrance that you see behind me, this is a really good shot showing the two tunnels and how the main entrance looks. There is glass on the main entrance. In fact, the glass is on most of the sides of the building now, and most of the receiving doors are all installed. So pretty much the building is, at least the structure is completed. What's going on inside still looks like there's more work that's going on for assembly. And I haven't seen very many of the delivery trucks that would show some of the items that would be installed inside. So I assume that that's gonna happen sometime in the future. Now the building was supposed to be finished by the end of March and for the most part it is. Now they're working on all of the support infrastructure around the building. So let's take a look next at what's going on at the Boring Company site. I've turned the camera around and we're looking right across uh, Farm to Market 1209 to the Boring Company, which is right across the street from the Starlink facility. And you can see the proof rock ring with the Boring Company sign right behind me. Now, the last time I was here, they were working on those tunnels, but as I showed you at the Starlink facility, they're now completed. So as you can see by this image uh, over at the Boring Company, all of that work that was going on seems to be cleaned up and there's no activity with drilling any of the bores right now. One of the other things that I wanted to show you is just generally how the overall site looks today. It's very, uh, looks cleaned up to me. It doesn't look like there's a lot of activity when it comes to actual boring or any work on the proof rock machines or anything else. Of course, it is a Sunday, so that kind of counts for it. But generally, the site is much more orderly than it was the last time I was here. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is this new structure. This is just a little to the outside of the fence for the Boring Company. And the last time I was here, it was under construction. Since then, as you can see by a few of these photos, this structure was used by a Boring Company competition sometime in March. And uh, as you can see, this building featured into some of the activities that uh, went on for that competition, which is kind of cool. I was hoping to be able to cover that back when it happened, but my schedule just did not work out. But uh, anyway, I hope that you enjoy this intro talking about the Starlink facility and also the Boring Company and some of the new sites like this structure, which shows continued expansion of even the Boring Company out in uh, Bastrop, Texas. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your support and uh, let's get into the video. 
A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. Starting off on this side of the Boring Company because I want to show you where the two tunnels began their excavation work. And it's right next to this uh, Quonset hut and where that yellow crane is located. And I'll turn the drone back and give you a good view down into this particular section. And you can tell on the right hand side, just behind that yellow crane, that first tunnel and it has kind of a sliding door kind of that green with a target on it. And then on the left-hand side, covered in that uh, bright green wrap, that's the second tunnel. All of the equipment that was used to excavate the dirt and to uh, have that removed from the tunnel and then taken off site has all been disassembled. And that entire section looks like it's just been cleaned up. Not a lot of activity there now that those tunnels are dug. Now in that Quonset hut, it looks like there's some proof rock machinery, and I think that's where they do some of their maintenance on the machines. I think also maybe the reason why it's not so busy is that they are out at Las Vegas doing the expansion of the tunnel system out in that city. But as we continue to pull away, you can get a good idea of this housing complex. This is for uh, on-site housing for some of the workers. They've been expanding this uh, along this side of the, the uh, Boring Company uh, property. You can see the fence line here, many of the houses, and you can also uh, tell that they have some recreation uh, uh, facilities as well with that kind of tennis court and a swimming pool. Now on this corner, these homes have been added over the last several months. And on the last of the slabs, you can uh, get an idea that there's room for even more of them. Uh, so it's kind of neat to see that they are providing on-site housing for many of the workers and their families. As we turn around to fly back over this portion of the Boring Company, uh, you can see some more materials off the left-hand side. Uh, the front of this large warehouse has kind of been cleaned up as well. There's some sort of mach machinery and equipment right in front of that. Um, and then they have this red and white tunnel system right down in the middle. We're also flying over that recreation uh, section as well. And then on the back side, you can uh, uh, tell that they have a covered awning and some more materials around this uh, large warehouse. So it's very interesting to see just how this entire site has been cleaned up over the last few months. Now on this side of the fence line, we see this new structure. We originally saw it when they were beginning the ground slab and now most of the superstructure is completed. They have to do the work on the inside. It does not look like uh, any of that has happened yet. But on the right hand side of the screen, you can uh, uh, see that uh, concrete kind of a parking lot apron coming in and then the asphalt that connects it to the main road that's farm to market 1209 and that divides the boring company from the spacex site and also as i mentioned in the intro this building was featured in the boring competition for 2023 that was held in March and it had a bunch of teams from around the world and they they were competing to show what type of techniques that they had to help speed up the boring process and try to eventually uh, exceed the snail's pace that uh, is currently what we find when they're doing the boring companies uh, uh, drilling. And of course, boring company is trying to innovate and try to figure out how to accelerate that and keep the cost down, but also increase the uh, production speed of the tunnels. So it's pretty cool to see that they do those kinds of competitions. This is a good view of much of the uh, concrete sections that are used for the completed tunnel. 
and also that large white and black kind of latticed uh, device in the corner is what is used to extract the dirt from the tunnel. So let's take a look now across Farm to Market 1209 and take a look at the progress on the SpaceX Starlink site. And in the last two months, what we have seen is they've completed these two tunnel drilling. You can see that right in the middle of the screen. Looks like they're doing some concrete formwork around the first of the two tunnels. And this is the one closest to the main entrance of the SpaceX facility. What we also see is quite a bit of the curbs have been installed around the entire facility and it outlines where we will see asphalt for the roads. And then the heavy rains that we've just recently had kind of made a pond by the road, but all of this will be uh, transformed into um, parking at some point in the future. And this gives you a good view of the two tunnels here and how they go underneath the road and emerge on the Boring Company side of the road. So let's turn back towards the SpaceX facility and let's take a look at its construction and the current situation that the building is in. Most of the glass is in on this kind of raised black portion of the main entrance. And I was also able to see through some of the windows on some of my still photos. And they're doing a lot of uh, work on the inside, putting in walls and it looks like offices as well. This is a great view on this side of the building showing you all of the curbs and the outline for the parking lots and also where you're gonna see the concrete uh, apron near the base of the building. And as I turn around to look back along this side of the building, the curb work is kind of rounded on this side and gives some very interesting shapes on this corner of the building. Also on the end of the building, there's more of the receiving docks and it looks like the concrete work has been completed there. The very large door also has a concrete ramp and it looks like they're preparing to uh, complete more of the concrete, uh, certainly with uh, some gravel mix in that open section next to the building. We see what looks to be some transformers and electrical poles have been recently installed on this side of the building. And also down at the bottom near the trees, we see a very large water tank and what looks to be a control room next to it. And because we're out in the country, I would expect that that water tank is useful for providing the water for the employees and for the operation of the building. As I pull away over these old uh, farmhouses, this is still on uh, the SpaceX property, so they do own those buildings, but so far they have not done anything with them. Here's a good close-in view of the receiving doors on this side of the building. A lot of the concrete apron work has been completed and uh, I didn't count, but there are quite a few of these receiving doors on this side. Above them, you can see all of the windows. Those have been uh, installed with the glass and the roof itself is completed. I know people want to know, is there going to be solar panels on the roof? I just don't know, but uh, I'll continue to watch and see if they do that. It would make sense if that were to happen. This material staging and uh, storage lot uh, has had some changes to it, but specifically we see a lot more of these steel materials. And I don't know if this indicates that there's more work on the inside that's underway, or maybe this is preparing for some future construction on the outside, but it's worth monitoring as time goes by. And then we'll continue to fly over the front of the building and give you an idea of what this section looks like today. Again, the preparation for the roads is uh, well in hand and a good view of how the main entrance uh, looks with all of the glass and some of the front doors and also the two boring tunnels and where they are in relation to that uh, front of the building. So that's a quick look at both facilities here in Bastrop, Texas today. I will pull away over the Boring Company facility and give a wide angle view of both facilities and also part of the countryside that you can see in the surrounding area. If you are looking for Giga Texas, it's off to the upper uh, left hand corner of the screen about uh, 15 miles away. Or uh, that would be approximately 23 kilometers or so. 
But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this tour, the discussion and the changes and uh, upgrades to both facilities. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.